Okay, so my name is Brian, um, naturalist for Blue Ocean's High Spirit. Today we saw humpback whales feeding and lun and breaching today. Uh, Monterey Bay being one of the hot spots for this population of humpback whales. Uh, humpback whales get about 40 to 50 feet long. Historically, they've gone up to 60 feet long, about 80,000 pounds. So today we saw them lunge feeding, vertical lunge feeding, which means all the food is at the surface and you'll see them come up, drive the food up, grab all the anchovies out, um, out of the water and into their mouth. Uh, you can actually see the baleen today while they're working with the sea lions and birds. So this group of humpback whales uh, will do a lot of cooperative feeding, which just means that they'll feed with other species from sea lions. Um, we've also seen them with dolphins and other whale species as well. And then with breaching, these whales when they breach, that means their body coming out of the water. Uh, right now in the whale community, we don't know why humpback whales breach, but we have a couple hypotheses. So it could be them having fun. It could also be them taking off parasites off their body. So they have barnacles and lice. The lice is about the size of a quarter. Could be a way to dislodge those. Um, another hypothesis is actually the young ones will do it over and over again. It could be that they're exercising, like doing jumping jacks, so that when they go down south to central Mexico, uh, they have the muscles to do that. One of the main hypotheses right now that some Australian researchers have seen is communication. When it gets windy, like it was this afternoon, it could be a way for them to communicate when there's a lot of more white noise in the water. White caps, you know, from the wind can cause a lot of noises in the water, and it could be difficult for them to, you know, say something or communicate to each other. It could be say, hey, I'm a little bit, you know, hungry and there's food here, or I'm alone, I'm lonely, come hang out with me. But like I said before, we don't know. That's just how it is in the whale community right now. But as technology gets better, um, our data is always getting better. As we record video, photographs, more animals, especially photo IDing, we're getting more de uh, data from it. And then also with drones and tags, we're getting a lot more information about our humpback whales. So definitely a good day out in the water. All right, so my name is Kate. I'm the captain of High Spirits for Blue Ocean Whale Watch, and we had an incredible day. Uh, both trips were just action-packed. The first trip, we had a couple killer whales that gave us really good looks. The male came over to the boat, and then we just had nonstop lunge feeding with humpback whales after that, a couple breaches, and then the afternoon trip was all about humpback whales flying out of the water every direction, and uh, lots of mom and calf pairs just having a great time. It was a good trip. <laughs> Both trips were great.